Hi, I'm Rob Stringer from High Point Access and Rescue. The purpose of this video is to illustrate a rope access backup system that we use. Uh, there's a document that we've published that describes um, going away from uh, cow, cow style type lanyards, so as backups, and going towards a system similar to this. Okay, so the primary part of our system is an energy absorber. So we connect an energy absorber directly into the sternal attachment point of the harness. Um, on that energy absorber at the far end or distal end is a connection point that we use for all of our backup connections. So be that to an anchor or a device, they all come into there. Okay, so this particular energy absorber is, um, is pretty much what we need. We need, a, we need a connection here that we can get off. Okay, so anything that's on your harness that is fixed to your harness that can't be removed, it limits its versatility. So we use that connection there to increase versatility. Um, we can take that off and put it in other things. Um, this is a EN355 rated um, energy absorber, so it's, it meets the standard. The other thing we've added onto there is this connection point. So this is a bolt-on connection point. And it's quite good because we can make three, four, even five connections in there if you needed to. Usually two or three is, is what you operate with. Okay, so we've got our energy absorber there. The primary, well, our, our preferred device for up and down work for backup is a pencil ASAP. So that pencil ASAP would connect into the distal connection point of that energy absorber. So the majority of our work, or the majority of work that's straight up and down, that's the system that we'd use. Okay, if we wanted to do a rope transfer, we'd probably use a device similar to this, or, or this device. So this is an STEC duck. STEC duck is pretty easy to adopt into your system because it's the same or very similar to a pencil shunt. We connect that into our system, straight into that distal connection point of the energy absorber. Back into there. So we can do a rope transfer from one to the other. It's important that we, uh, that we take this device off the rope, that we don't leave it hanging on there. We don't use that connection point as a stowage point. So we don't leave this sort of thing happening. So anything that's, whenever this energy absorber is in service, we don't stow things on there. So we take that thing off. Through there. Now that's, that's a good length for a, for a connection onto this backup device. It's usually always within reach. There are occasions when you want that to be longer, so that's not usually a problem. We can extend the length of that quite easily by choking it. Through there. So that gives us quite a long one. It's not something that you use normally, but there's the odd occasion where you need to make that connection long. And I guess we can make it quite short. So you've got options. So with the 60 centimeter Dyneema, you've got options of anywhere from, from one caravan length to out to 60 centimeters with two caravan lengths. Uh, another component in our system is a, a second Dyneema sling with two caravanas, so we keep that 
as an extender. Uh, in this case, if we wanted to change over to an anchor, depending on the surface there, we could, we could use that to wrap around the anchor. We connect that directly in to that energy absorber. And that means we can drop out that second connection. So with those few components, we have the energy absorber, we have the ASAP, we have two, two Dyneema slings, 60 centimeter extenders, and we have a second backup device. With that, we've got uh, huge versatility in our backup system. Um, that's, that's primarily what we take. On the odd occasion, we'll, we'll include uh, wide opening double action hooks. So if we wanted to make a, a Y lanyard to uh, climb up a tower or something, we could easily use that. With that choked on the here, we get quite a good length lanyard. Summary, energy absorber, distal connection of the energy absorber, that's where all our connections are made. Um, that maintains the energy absorbing capability of that. One thing to keep in mind is at no point should we connect this back onto a hump. Anytime we've got this in service, this energy absorber in service, we should never have a connection back to the harness because that defeats the purpose of that whole energy absorber. Um, our preferred positioning lanyard now is something like this, so it's an adjustable webbing lanyard. Uh, this particular one is a Metolius lanyard. So the Metolius lanyard is, um, has a rating on there, it's a climbing lanyard I believe. But it has a rating, a 300 pound rating or 136 kilograms. So we can make that uh, quite long, so it can be quite a long lanyard and you can make it quite short. One of the good parts about this lanyard is the length when it's shortened right up. Um, we need good strength with this and we need good adjustability, which this has. And we need it to be quite long and we need it to be very short. So there's um, yeah, there's quite a bit we ask out of a lanyard. Okay, so that's our primary um, positioning type lanyard rather than a cow's tail through a crawl or something like through a chest ascender or something like that. Okay, so that's that one. The second lanyard attachment we have is a cow's tail. So it's a sewn dynamic lanyard. Um, if, if you wanted to use two of these instead of one of those and one of those, that might be, might be usable as well, depending on your system. Okay, but we use that, so it, it pretty much just retains our handle ascender. One of, the, one of the issues or one of the drawbacks with this, I guess, is anytime you make a connection for backup, you've got to make two connections. You make the connection to the energy absorber and you make the connection to the device or the anchor. Whereas if you were using cow's tails, you just have to make one. So it does add some time, um, it does add extra movements, it does have the risk that you've got something removed from your system. So you're not, you don't, um, a cow's tail is always connected to you, so that's quite easy. If you've got to add a sling or you've got to add a device, the device is, is in your hands and it's not connected to you at some point in time. So there's that risk as well. But all in all, it's a, it's a pretty good system or a concept of a system that any time, if you were to fall, this thing would control your deceleration and also limits the amount of force under your body and limits force under the anchor. So that's our system.